Hello. We are going to show you how to uh, calculate a sum and a mean using Excel. I'm going to be inputting data. Again, my data consists of 12 numbers. And I'm going to insert it right here, starting in, col in D2. Notice how a spreadsheet works. We're in the D column, and I'm in the uh, second row. So I'm going to input 12 numbers. 69, 100, 68. And we're going to show you how to get a sum and a mean. We're not going to be doing very, very much in this uh, tutorial. Uh, we're still getting our feet wet in uh, Screencast-O-Matic. Uh, where was I? 68, 55, 99, 72, 59, 44. 88, 80, 74, and 71. So that should be 12 numbers. It goes from uh, D2 uh, down the column to D13. It's always important to know where your data is located. Write it on your hand, D2 colon D13. That's where your input data is located. Okay, now the first thing I'm, I'm going to do is get a sum. Always write down what you're getting, all right? So, in the so that C, you don't have to go look at the formula later. Yes. <laughs> and also, when you show it to a boss, the boss will say, what is this? And so you'll say, well, it says sum. Okay, so in column C14, I have the word sum. Okay, now I go, I want the sum to appear in column D14. Okay, so now I'm going to use what's called the function wizard. See that little F up there? It says insert function, a little uh, F with a little X. That's called a function wizard. Okay, I click on it, and I look for actually showing sum in the average. But uh, I can use this. That's one way to do it. Just use the sum feature. Or I'll show you another way to do it. Let's do it for the sum feature. Okay, so I want the sum. Say okay. Okay, it's actually saying D2 to D13. Perfect. Right? D2 to D13. And I say, that's where my data is. I make sure that's where the data is located. I say, okay. And there's the sum. There we go. 879. 879. You can take a minute and check to make sure it's correct. Yes, but it's, uh, <laughs> it's, a, it's the sum of these 12 numbers. Now, the summation symbol, you'll see it on the menu. If you, if you go back up to the ribbon, and you got uh, this is a, sa a space saving ribbon. Uh, if you go to home and over to the summation symbol, that's a sum. And it would have done it too. That does that, the same thing. That's a Greek symbol. That symbol up there, that's called sigma, and it's a summation symbol. You're going to see it way. all throughout the semester. Yeah, so you could have done it with that. I want to get the average, sometimes called the mean. Okay, the average or the mean. I write the word average, so I know what I'm doing. Okay, and again, I want this where? In D15. Okay, so D15 will be the average. Go to the function wizard. Well, average is there, but if it wasn't there, I'd look under statistical, look for the word average. Anyway, I got average in the function wizard. Click OK. Now, this is wrong. It says... Uh, D2 to D14. As I told you, your data is D2 to D13, right? It automatically assumed if there was a number there that that's what you wanted. So you have to be careful. But again, I told you, you had it on your hand. You're looking at your hand, D2 to D13. That's where your data is. Now, I have no idea why Excel uses calls this number one. It should be called an array or input data. This number one uh, is strange. I have no idea. But, but you'll get used to it. Yeah, you'll get used to it. Because you know what the computer needs. It needs to know where the data is located. You click OK. And there's your average, 73.25. You can tell your boss. Can't be easier than this. It can't be easier than this, exactly. All right. Okay, that's it for our first lecture on how do you, you begin to use Excel for statistics.